Hi everyone, my name is Claudia. I'm here with TV Stuff Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing Alien Tape. So Alien Tape is a multifunctional, reusable, double-sided tape that is waterproof and you can use indoors, outdoors, and up to 17 pounds, or at least that's what the commercial claims. This is what the box looks like. I got a three pack of Alien Tape, so I hope I like it. It says it's great for hanging frames on any surface, bathroom shelving, because like I said, it is waterproof, as well as keeping carpets from sliding. So we're, we're gonna test that one out for sure. And the crazy thing is, is it says that you can like twist the object that's stuck and it removes like no problem. So I, I'm a little skeptical and I'm excited to try this out. And I got a couple ideas for some things around the house for what we're gonna do. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna test our alien tape out on is this mirror. So if you have been following me personally or this channel, you've definitely seen this mirror behind me before in probably all of my videos. For the entire time my partner and I have lived in this apartment, this mirror has just sort of been leaning up against the wall and we honestly haven't had any issues, knock on wood, of it falling or anything of the sort until we got our new dog, Mutz, this past summer. He is a pit bull boxer mix. We rescued him from, uh, he was in South Carolina, but the rescue we used was Rescue Dogs Rock New York City. Um, and he's been with us for a little over two months. We are absolutely obsessed with him but he does get a little confused about the dog that lives in the mirror. And we've had a couple issues where it's like almost fallen, but we've been able to catch it. But to prevent any of that, we were looking to hang it on the wall. So we tried command strips, which pretty much everything in our apartment is hung by command strips. However, command strips didn't seem to hold the weight of the mirror even though we used like 10 of them. So then we were like, I guess we just have to nail it into the wall or we can try some alien tape. So this is what the alien tape looks like out of the box. It came in this cute little reusable bag. And then because it is double-sided, it did come in like some plastic wrap. I can feel a little part of it and it is quite sticky. And then it also came with some instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and familiarize myself. It says alien tape, tough weatherproof design works indoors and outdoors. Great for hanging pictures and decorations, stopping furniture and carpet from sliding, securing phones when driving and more. Suitable surfaces include wood, marble, leather, smooth and frosted glass, smooth tile and plastic surfaces. Doesn't say drywall on there, but in the commercial it did, so fingers crossed. If using on sheetrock and painted surfaces, application will be permanent. Removing the alien tape may cause paint to peel or leave residue. So that's interesting that they have it on the instructions because in the commercial it says that there would be no marks left on the wall. So. That's interesting because it does say painted surfaces, meaning like drywall, because that's painted, right? I mean, am I crazy? So it says measure and cut the tape to desired size. Always cut one strip at a time. Place tape on surface with adhesive side down. Use plenty of tape to cover the surface. Example, use all sides of the picture frame as shown above. Firmly press against all areas for 15 seconds to help adhere. Peel off backing to expose the double stick side. Firmly press against all areas for 15 to 30 seconds to help adhere. Simply remove tape by slowly pulling it off. To reuse tape, wash strip of tape under running water, let air dry. It is ready to be reused. So another interesting thing in the commercial, it doesn't say you have to 
let it dry. It does just say like, you know, run it under some water, stick it on the wall, use it again. So interesting how they advertise that. But anyway, so that looks to be it. Pretty clear, pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and try to hang this mirror. Okay, so I flipped the mirror around and we're gonna get this accurate. This is what our tape looks like. It's all ooey and gooey. We're gonna stick it on. Give a nice little cut. It cuts really easy, so that's, that's a good sign. I'm gonna do the long side as well as the bottom. on all four sides I just feel like there's no way this is gonna stick but we'll see I mean I just feel like it's so easy to take it off that like it's just gonna not work but this mirror is pretty heavy so I feel like this is a two-person job so I'm gonna go ahead and grab David so that he can help me out so we've marked where it's gonna go on the wall this the first part of it has already been sticking for about 10-ish minutes right now, so we're gonna peel off the other part and stick it to the wall and see what happens. So it's just like if something like happened or the adhesive just slowly wore off. All right, so the mirror is up. I love it being not resting on the floor anymore. And it feels like it's gonna stay, fingers crossed. I'm not gonna test taking this off um, just because I would like this to stay and I don't want to like test the reusability of it on something that I actually want to stay. All right, so now I'm going to test the Alien tape on a couple different things. We're gonna test how easy it is to sort of twist and remove as the commercial, commercial suggests. We're gonna test how it works after running it under water. Even though the instructions say to let it dry, the commercial did not, so I'm gonna test how it works if I don't let it dry versus if I do. And then we're gonna head into my bathroom for the last test and test how it holds something up while water is running. So to start, we're just gonna cut ourselves a three inch piece of alien tape. And I'm just gonna use something simple like a bowl. So we're gonna stick it to the bottom of the bowl like so. Peel off the second strip and then stick it to my counter. Oh, well, maybe it's because it's not. <laughs> what? Take two. So that bowl had like a raised, like the actual bottom wasn't pressing, I don't know. But we're gonna use this little Tupperware guy 
And I'm going to cut this actually to be a little smaller. Stick my alien tape on the bottom of this little Tupperware container and then stick this to I mean, right? Like, that is not a raised bottom. Kind of is. But, like, the tape is thick enough that it should... What if I did... That doesn't make me nervous about the mirror. So take three. We're going to try the alien tape with a glass. The bottom isn't really raised. It's pretty much even. There's a little bit of a dip. But like I said, the alien tape is quite thick, so it really shouldn't be a problem unless it is. So we're going to take a little piece of alien tape. Stick it to probably even smaller than that. Stick it to the bottom of our glass. Peel off that other part. All right, so that's stuck pretty good. I'm pulling not too, too hard. I mean, <laughs> that wasn't that hard of a tap. I don't know. I feel like that's not bad. It's still not as firm as the commercial suggests, but I mean, that's like if you like accidentally walked by, I don't know. I feel like that's a little safer. Maybe if you got kids, you want to secure some stuff around your house. And then it says you can remove it with an easy twist, which definitely did the trick. It obviously wants to come off more than it wants to stay. So I'm going to peel this part off. And I'm going to get this piece of tape, this piece of alien tape wet and see how it works then. All right. So I just ran it under some water and I'm going to stick it right back on, see if it wants to stick. It certainly does not in the slightest. I think we have to let it dry. I wonder if I should just let air dry or if I should like dry it, dry it. These are the questions I have. Definitely going to dry off the area. So... Commercial suggesting that you can just sort of wet it and then stick it onto anything and it works right away is definitely false. All right, so it's been about a minute or so and this tape feels sticky again. We're gonna stick it back on to the glass. By the way, it left no marks on the glass, which we love. And then we're going to stick that back onto the counter. Hold it for about 15 seconds. It's definitely stuck again, but certainly not as much as it was earlier. So I don't know how... Oh, look at that. And then it's stuck to the counter this time, not the glass. So I don't know how, like, trusting I am of calling this reusable. The thing is like when I pick it up, it's pretty sticky. All right, so as you may know or not know, if you follow me personally, like I mentioned earlier, which if you don't, you totally should. All of my social media is always linked in the description. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that good stuff. But if you don't know, I am redoing some of our wall art throughout quarantine. I was big on the home improvement stuff. So we're, like I said, updating the wall art. And I just recently got this beautiful print. I ordered it from Society6 online and the frame that I ordered for it, just nice and simple off of Amazon, came in a few days ago and we are going to hang it right here but you probably can tell there are some marks left from the previous 
thing that was hanging here from the command strips. Like I said, pretty much everything in our apartment is hung currently by command strips. And command strips are great, but they definitely leave a mark on the wall. So I've already stuck some alien tape on the perimeter of this frame. I actually cut it in half as well since this is a pretty narrow frame. And we're going to stick this on the wall. I'm going to leave it up for like a minute or two and then I'm going to take it right down to see how the wall looks after it's been hung. So let's go ahead and peel off the alien tape. I'd say that looks pretty good, pretty good. Now let's see what happens, how easy it is. I mean, that is pretty much stuck to the wall. I'm pretty, I'm, oh my God. Well, now I'm not so nervous about the mirror anymore. That's not going anywhere. All right, so as you saw that, that stuck pretty well and Fortunately for the apartment and life, um, that's not going anywhere, but unfortunately I can't really tell you how it sticks to the wall or how it looks when it comes off because, I mean, I'm like tugging pretty hard at this and it's not, like I said, it's not going anywhere. So I guess that is a bit of a downside to alien tape because like once it's stuck, especially it looks like to drywall, it's stuck for good. All right, so we're in my bathroom now. And honestly, I just went looking around my house because I don't have anything really to hang in the shower um, because we have this little like shelving thing in our shower for all of like our products and everything. So honestly, what I'm just gonna do is like stick this, like this alien tape roll to the wall and then run the water under it and see what happens. So we're just gonna stick it on like that. It's pretty sticky, like it just, it, I had to, yeah, I mean like look, that's stuck. I mean that's still pretty stuck. Twist it right off. So I'd say that works out pretty well just because as you saw like while the water was running it wasn't falling and then like I tapped it it wasn't gonna fall but then with just a little twist it came right off. So I'm gonna have to give Alien Tape a four out of five stars just because for the most part it did everything it said it was gonna do. As you saw, it was a little tricky with the bowls and like sticking to a surface. That wasn't as sturdy as the commercial made it seem like it would be. However, sticking everything to the wall seems to work out so good that it actually can't come off to even check the damage, if any, done to your walls. Alien tape seemed to work pretty well while the water was running as well as letting a piece dry after washing it. So I would say this is pretty good. Definitely a better alternative to hammer and nails. It came with that nice little storage bag. So now it's not gonna like get all gross and like stick to anything. Cause a lot of like sticky things, like if you just leave it in a drawer or something can get like real gross, like with the like dust and everything. So I like the packaging that came in. So yeah, that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more As Seen On TV products and reviews. You can follow me personally at ThatGirlClods on all of my social media. It is always linked in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon for another review. Bye.